Did you know that one in three adults worldwide has hypertension and most don't even know about it? Left unchecked or can lead to heart attacks, strokes, and even death. But here is the good news. You can take control of your blood pressure today. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Oteng, and today we are going to talk about how to lower your blood pressure fast using diet and lifestyle tips for hypertension. Hypertension occurs when the force of the blood against your arteries or your artery walls is too high. This can uh, happen due to factors like poor diet, lack of exercise, stress, and even genetics. High blood pressure often uh, shows no symptoms, making it a silent killer. If left untreated, it can cause serious health problems, including heart disease, strokes, and then also kidney damage. Lowering uh, your blood pressure is a crucial thing uh, for your long-term health. And the best part is you can start making changes today. Let's dive into the diet and lifestyle tips that can help you lower your blood pressure very, very fast. It is one thing eating healthy and another thing eating consciously knowing that you want to bring your blood pressure down. One of the biggest corporates in raising your blood pressure is sodium. So basically what sodium is doing is keeping excess water around which you don't need. And this excess water increases your blood volume which increases the pressure against your artery or your artery walls. Aim to limit your sodium intake to less than 2300 milligrams per day, which is 2.3 grams a day. As a matter of fact, if you are already hypertensive or if you are very conscious of bringing your blood pressure down immediately, you should look for taking sodium no more than 1500 milligrams or 1.5 grams per day. Now, it may sound like what are these numbers? Tell you what, if you start reading your labels, you know, food labels you can find out how much sodium you are taking and how easy you can actually uh, come around to basically take it off. An easy way is to start by cutting back on processed foods. Next, let's talk about potassium. Potassium helps balance the sodium in your cells and eases tension in your blood vessel walls. Foods rich in potassium include bananas, which everybody knows, oranges, spinach, and even sweet potatoes. There's a bunch more. Avocados, you can, and if, if you are really conscious about increasing your potassium levels, you can do the research and add more if some of the things or the foods you mentioned are not your uh, favorite. Apart from avoiding processed foods, canned foods, and stuff that is obviously high in salt, increasing your intake of potassium rich foods that we've mentioned would definitely also set a balance off such that your uh, sodium levels will go down and decrease your hold on water, which basically increases your blood pressure. The next thing we will talk about is the kind of diet that you can use to basically bring down your blood pressure. And without going into much detail, we're just going to mention one particular diet that has been uh, recommended by the JNC uh, in the United States. This is what we call the DASH diet. What it is, is dietary approaches to stop hypertension. It emphasizes eating fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins while cutting back on sugar and saturated fats, all of which increase your blood pressure. The other thing we want to talk about is your lifestyle. Physical activity is very important. You know, regular exercises such as walking, jogging, Cycling or even swimming, if you can swim, can lower your blood pressure by about five to eight points. You know, aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate to intense exercise per, per week. And um, by this, it sounds like a huge number, but divide that 150 minutes by like five or even by seven if you want to do exercise for seven days. But in this case, we can assume that you could get, uh, you know, 30 minutes exercises uh, for five days and you should be good with 150 minutes per week. 
And such a lifestyle is definitely going to decrease your blood pressure over, over a long period, at least from the beginning. Losing weight can significantly impact your blood pressure. Even a small amount of weight loss, about 5% of your body weight, can help reduce your blood pressure. And studies suggest that every 10 pound weight loss corresponds to about five points uh, decrease in your blood pressure number. And so weight loss can be one of the quick ways you can use to bring your blood pressure down. The other lifestyle thing that we want to also talk about is, you know, stress management. Stress is one of the leading causes of hypertension. We know chronic stress contributes to high blood pressure in several ways. Techniques like deep breathing, you know, meditation, yoga, and again, exercise all reduce your stress levels. And doing such things regularly is definitely going to make sure that your blood pressure comes down. So that's another quick hack. And let's not forget the importance of a good sleep. Poor sleep quality can negatively impact your blood pressure. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night. Quality uninterrupted sleep if you can. But at least if you could get straight up seven to eight hours of sleep with minimal interruption, that is a good way to go. There are a few more quick tips to help you on your journey. Reducing your caffeine intake as well as alcohol can also make a difference. You know, both can cause temporary spikes in blood pressure. You know, so if you, do, if you do two cups of coffee a day and your pressure is high, you know, reducing it to say one cup a day may make a slight difference. Now, adding a splash of health with beetroot or pomegranate juice can also support lower blood pressure. And those are going to obviously help you with all the nitrates and stuff in there dilate your blood vessels and keep your pressures down. They also are found to have a lot of antioxidants, which would definitely protect your blood vessels against, you know, cholesterol plaques and other things, even against other diseases uh, that are mediated by uh, oxidation. So implementing these changes might seem challenging at first, but remember, you don't have to do all at once. Start one, Start with one or two small adjustments, maybe one diet, another lifestyle, and gradually build up from there. Each small step can lead to a significant improvement in your blood pressure and overall health, as a matter of fact. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and comment below with your own tips or questions. Don't forget to subscribe for more health and wellness advice on this channel.